Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So with less than a week left till New Year's, I thought it'd be fun to share with you my New Year's resolutions. I'm getting up close and personal with y'all. So this year I have five main resolutions and they're all based off of pretty much what I learned this year, um, what I learned not to do. So now I know what to do and commit to in the new year. So I'm gonna make this short and sweet. So if you're interested in hearing about my resolutions, then keep on watching. Resolution number one. So in the new year, I plan to be taking some business and marketing courses and getting a few certifications in those. This past year, I feel like I've truly come into myself and figured out what my passions are, what I want out of life. Yes, guys, it literally took me 29 years to figure that out. But now more than ever, for the first time ever, I officially know and I'm so certain and confident in what I want. And I feel like in order to get to where you want in life, you need to educate yourself. And now I do have a degree. I do have a college degree in graphic design. But where I want to head with my career right now, I need to educate myself. I'm actually, I'm not going to be going back to school. I'm not working on a degree or anything like that. I feel like what I want to do in life, certifications will be more than enough and just give me the background and the tools that I need to be able to succeed at what I want to do. So that is my first resolution, is to complete my business and marketing courses. New Year's resolution number two is to be more zen and in the moment. So easy to get caught up in the day to day and just, you know, before you know it, your whole day has gone by and it was just a big fog. I don't know about you, but I feel like that happens a lot more times than it doesn't. Guys, I'm sure a lot of you can relate. I get stressed out, like for real. So for the new year, I want to be just, just more in the moment and the way I want to do that is by practicing uh, meditation and spending more time with and in nature. I feel like I am my happiest and I really feel like I recharge my batteries best when I'm out in nature, when I'm spending time just secluded, taking a breath of fresh air and just living in the moment. That's where I feel like I truly live in the moment. I just put away all technology and it's just me and mother nature, baby. And sometimes James, sometimes he's there. Um, I always felt like I was always into health and wellness, but the one area that I definitely will admit that I kind of neglect is my emotional wellness. I feel like that's something a lot of us kind of just ignore or we don't mean to, but it's just something that gets easily pushed aside because we're so focused on the aesthetic and you know the outward appearances and things like that. But I do think working on the inside is just just as much important, if not more. So yes, that is number two, just to be more zen, more calm, okay? More in the moment, just calm, cool, and collected. So my third resolution is similar to my second one, but not totally. Um, I want to make my health number one. And what I mean by that is what I put into my body and how I treat my body because this is, this is what made me come up with this one. I noticed, especially towards the end of this year, I focused every single day, all day on work, like work, 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 and nothing else. And I would come up with excuses in the morning. I'd be like, you know, I really should go to the gym. But then I'd say, but I could work on this video. Let me do that first. Let me get the video out of the way, then later go to the gym. And then what happens is I'm done with the video, and I'm done with, you know, writing people back and doing all sorts of things related to work that afterwards I'm mentally exhausted. So I end up not going to the gym and I end up putting it off. And then before you know it, I look back and I go, whoa, the last time I went to the gym was like three weeks ago. So that's not cool. Um, what I've actually been doing this past week or two, I've kind of just forced myself first thing in the morning. I'll just check emails, then Get to that gym. I Yeah, just get there. Just get yourself there. No excuses. I don't care what it is. I don't care who needs what. <laughs> you gotta take care of yourself first. Um, once I'm done with the gym, then it's game on for the rest of the day. Cool. As long as I know I do what I gotta do for myself, then we're good. 
Um, but yeah, based off of that, I also noticed that I kind of let my diet slip a little bit. And granted, I'm not sitting here trying to like, you know, lose crazy weight or, or, or get ripped or whatever. I just want to be healthy and feel good and put natural things in my body. So I recently discovered Whole Foods and I've been obsessed with that store. Um, it's amazing. And I found incredible, incredible food that I just can't find anywhere else. And it's about a half hour from our house, but it's worth the drive. So I've been going there and um, I just wanna eat well and make health just number one because like my daddy always says, your health is your wealth. Okay, so resolution number four, um, declutter. I wanna declutter my life, everything. Every aspect of my life, I want decluttered. Um, Actually, I'm very inspired by minimalism, to be honest with you guys. Um, I am not a minimalist, I don't claim to be, um, but I, I, I do definitely, definitely appreciate the minimalist lifestyle, for real. So yeah, so for next year, I want to focus on becoming more of a minimalist, or at least like a semi-minimalist. Clutter just makes me wanna scream, okay? I don't think well in clutter. I notice that I'm stressed when there's a lot of just stuff hanging around, and. To be quite honest with you, the day after Christmas, James and I decluttered our house. We did, and we're still working on it, but it literally took a huge weight off my shoulders and I wanted to keep doing more and more and more. Honestly, I'm just gonna be picking something up and if I don't use it or haven't used it in a long time, out it goes, okay? Because I need to make space for just the things I need. I feel like having less is more because I just am able to feel the space I'm in and just kind of clear my mind better, honestly. When I walk into an, into my place and it's, it's crowded with stuff, I, I just wanna walk right back out. I just wanna say, nope, and leave. So right now it's looking good and just spacious. Look at this, you just got a white wall back there with a plant, that's all I want. And last but not least, resolution number five um, is to read more physical books, okay? I do enjoy reading, but I notice that I spend a lot of time online where I'll watch YouTube videos and nothing wrong with that, but you know, too much of something is never a good thing. I'm very selective with how I get information. A lot of the times if I, you know, need to, to look something up, I always look up YouTube videos. Most of what I know comes from YouTube videos. I guess that's a good thing. So, um, so yeah, what I would like to do is just take more breaks from social media, take more breaks from just technology in general, just from lit up screens. Like I just need um, mental breaks. I noticed this year I was go, go, go. And you get to that point. And I know a lot of you guys can relate because a lot of my subscribers are other YouTubers. So you know what it's like where all day, every day, or whenever you, whenever you have a spare second, you're on YouTube, you're on social media, you're scrolling through. And while all that is great, I felt like I get to certain points where I just, I just cannot anymore. <laughs> like I need a break, it's normal, you need to take a step back. So um, actually this past couple weeks, I did that. I took a break, I took a step back. I was posting here and there, but kind of just, just letting go and not being glued to social media. And it really, I'll tell you something, it really worked wonders because I feel pretty good. But um, yeah, so I would just like to read more, read books. We have a library in our home and I have barely use it, unfortunately. So I would like to just get more into just spacing out with a nice good book to relax at the end of the night. So yeah, guys, with that being said, um, due to my experiences in 2018, I feel like it is definitely necessary for me to take a step back, take frequent breaks when I feel like I need them and just to read more, just to open up a book and to just not spend so much time online. That's basically it. So guys, that was it. Those were my five New Year's resolutions this year. Hope you found this video helpful or inspiring in some way. But most importantly, I would love to hear about your New Year's resolutions, guys. So um, if you are watching this till the end, um, Comment down below one of your New Year's resolutions or your or your number one resolution. I'd love to hear about it, talk about it. I know a lot of people actually don't believe in New Year's resolutions and I totally get that and I know where you're coming from. 
But for me, I do look at a, you know, I look at a new year like just a clean slate. I do. That's how I view it. And uh, obviously, you can create resolutions at any time of the year. It doesn't have to be a new year. But I do think it gives some perspective. And I think entering a new year gives people um, the ability to like look over the past year that they just had and evaluate everything and sift through and see what areas need some work. And that's exactly what I did. <laughs> and 2018 taught me a lot. And so, yeah, so now I know what I gotta do for 2019. So, um, yeah, guys, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below your New Year's resolutions. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.